Hi guys, welcome to Juiced Up Media, I'm Gary J, your host, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to achieve the green screen stroke chroma key effect which they use in all the big Hollywood blockbusters and on TV. Now I will guarantee that if you've got some video editing software like After Effects, Adobe Premiere and HitFilm, any of these will have that plugin pre-installed. All you have to do is find it. However, if you've got Windows Movie Maker or late versions of Windows Movie Maker, I know that it hasn't. So I'm sorry, all you'll have to do is upgrade to something else. However, today I'm going to be using Sony Vegas Pro 12. But again, it doesn't matter whether you've got Sony Vegas Pro 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It doesn't matter. Um, because it's still got this plugin installed. Now this is a very, very easy thing to do um, and I will show you how. So, without any more ado, let's start. So, let's get rid of that. Now all you have to do is find where you've put your video footage. Um, mine's in there which says YouTube, um, which I did earlier for you. See, nice, I'm kind like that. Grab it, drag it down. There you go, there's me on a green screen, dressed as a police officer with a big machine gun, thinking I'm all bad and all that, thinking I look really sexy when I'm not. But anyway, that's me on a green screen, let's get rid of that, that's the audio, um, but there is no audio in this, so let's get rid of it. Well, that said, that's me, green screen. Okay, now that's actually just a big sheet, it doesn't matter whether you've got a green sheet, green pieces of card stuck on the wall, or your wall painted green. Um, you will still get the same effect if you follow this. The main thing is you've got to light your green screen correctly. Um, you do not want any shadows on it, so basically you want to move away from your green screen um, so that there's no shadow being put onto it. Um, because trust me, if, when it comes to it, if you need to edit this um, and it's got a big shadow on it, it's an absolute nightmare. I will guarantee you will, you'll be pulling your hair out. So move away from your green screen, don't cast a shadow. Um, so but like I said, there you go, that's me stood in front of a green screen. How many times can I say green screen? I don't know, but you count and let me know. So anyway, get background, pull it down. So there's my background, that's what's gonna go behind me at any moment. So there it is, that's what it looks like. Now as you can notice with this, you've got some black lines here. This is quite easy to get rid of. Um, if you go down to um, event pan and crop, click on that, this window will open. Put your cursor there, right click it, and go down to match output aspect, okay? And it will bring it forward and stretch it to fit the screen, so easy as that. Grab your footage and bring it there. Always make sure that you, your background is underneath your footage, okay? So, there you go, and just pull that. All you have to do to stretch it is just put it so you see the arrows, and then just left click it and move it like that, okay? So now, I know what you're saying, Gary, there's still a green screen there, I can't see the background, trust me, it'll be coming, okay? Now this is what you do, if you go to that, event effects, click on that, this window will open. Now it'll either open here, or it'll open in one of these little windows somewhere, you just have to find it. Basically these are all your plugins, okay? Click on Sony Chroma Key, now, double click on that, you'll see it open up there, click OK and it opens up. Now yours might look slightly different to mine, uh, not 100% sure, but as you can see, it's already started to take effect. Um, it actually looks like somebody's been peeing on the background. Um, so it wasn't me, I got it from China, so it might be some little Chinese dude. But there you go, as you can see, if I switch it off, it comes back, switch it on. Right, now this is where it starts getting good, okay? Now, as you can see, mine is blue at the moment, and the colour is blue, that was for a blue screen. Um, which you can also use, but most people use the green screen. Click on that, and you get a little eyedropper here. Okay, move that across onto your green screen, left click, and everything disappears, just like magic. Now I know what you're saying, Gaz, it looks pants. You look like a ghost. I can see through you, you look really ill. Now I know this, but just bear with me, bear with me. Right, get these sliders and just move it. Matter of fact, I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see what's going on. Okay, let's get get you so you can see what's happening. Okay. Okay, that right, that's bit. Right. So as you can see, I've got all this speckly stuff on my arm, so if I move this, 
Okay, it's starting to disappear. There you go. Move the top one. Okay. And the thing is, when I said about lighting earlier on, if you don't light it evenly, you get this. That's the green screen. That's the green screen as well, and all this here. Um, now, the way round this is to basically do this. And I will show you. Go to Event, Pan, and Crop. Okay. Move that across a bit. Zoom into it so you can see what's going on. Okay, now as you can see, you've got a little box here. It says mask, but it's greyed out there. Click on that. So you've got a tick in it. And then come down to your third tool, which is called Anchor Creation Tool. Click on that, which mine's already clicked on. Left click it and you'll get a yellow box. A yellow one. And just keep doing that around your subject. Okay, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to go around and miss all that there. Okay, and then just click it on that, the last one. Basically, what you've done is you've cut everything out that was on on the outside of that there. So all that has now disappeared, and as you can see, it looks a hundred times better. And we're nearly there. One last thing to do, we go to Event, Pan and Crop, again go to your Chroma key. On here, it's slightly jagged, let me just, slightly jagged, okay? And when you, when you render it, it'll look all choppy. So what you want to do, is just blur it slightly, okay? Doesn't need to be a lot. You do it a lot, it starts looking like that. Look, okay. So we just do it ever so slightly. I've done it to about 34. Okay. And that's me on a green screen. Okay. And all you would do is render that down, and you'll have your footage you stood in front of whatever you want to be stood in front of. Okay. So don't forget, um, green screen needs to be well lit. And you need to move away from the green screen so you've got no shadow on it. Light yourself as well um, and you should be good to go. If you do want any more footage, um, tips or just stuff to practice with, um, my new website which is at www.juicedupmedia.co.uk um, is going to be having some packs on soon which you'll be able to download for free. Um, it'll have muzzle flashes on there, it'll have bullets. Um, green screen stuff, just stuff that you can practice with um, and we've also got a new Facebook page which has only just gone up which is, um, we're doing alright, we're doing good okay, so all we need is for you to go there, just say hi and you know, let me know you're alive you've watched the video, what you thought of it um, and everything is good so thanks for watching and I will see you next time